Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some Brutus Monroe products and also this awesome uh, crafty Mayriki. I had to pull it over so I could uh, pronounce it right. So Brutus Monroe and Crafty Mayor Key are uh, doing a collaboration right now. So we're going to use their products to make something fun. So I have this awesome stamp set called Sweet Friendship. Um, I also have the Brutus Monroe Inspiration Box stamp set for March. I have the Stencil of the Month for March. I also have my favorite glitter sequins ever. These are Brutus Monroe decorative details. I pulled out my Distress Oxides and some colors that would coordinate with this photo play paper. And then of course, my favorite black ink ever, the Brutus Monroe Raven ink. And then I also have a white sheet of cardstock that I might have tapped my inks onto to see if they would coordinate or not. <laughs> so let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start out with a piece of white cardstock, and I'm putting it on top of a piece of black. And what that's gonna do is give me a great little border to work with. Now, I have this beautiful striped paper from Pink Fresh Studio, and I'm gonna go ahead and tear it so that um, I have this nice, fun, jagged edge. And I'm going to do so and put it on both the top and the bottom of my layout and I'm going to make sure that the colors line up so when I trimmed it down there was no weird gaps or anything the colors line up with each other so I'm going to start by taking this kind of wreath stamp and I pull off my striped paper because I want it to be underneath of that striped paper. So I go ahead and grab my 12 by 12 Misty and I'm going to figure out where I want that to land. Uh, and then I realize, you know, I think I need to add a little bit something extra. Besides the stamping uh, and besides my photo, I want a little something extra. So I go ahead and grab the Brutus Monroe Stencil of the Month and it is this gorgeous interlocking circle stencil. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can end up making this stencil as absolutely large as you need it to be. Uh, since the circles interlock, it's a repeating pattern and you can keep doing this. So I just made sure to repeat the pattern so that it would be up uh, and underneath of my striped paper that I'm going to be replacing uh, here at the top of the page. So now I am going to figure out where I want that stamp. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it down with my Misty. And I am using the Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink. You guys, it is my favorite permanent black ink ever. It is um, alcohol marker safe, and it's also waterproof uh, once it's dry. So you want to either heat set it or anything like that if you're gonna use it with any other kind of uh, medium. So I grab my Distress Oxides and some colors that coordinate with that stripey paper, and I'm just placing it down on top of another sheet of white cardstock. And what this is going to do is giving me a great color base uh, for what I have planned. Now I do go ahead and dry it up a little bit with a heat tool uh, because I really don't want it smearing and I don't need it all over the place. I'm trying not to make a huge mess here. So once I go ahead and dry that off, I am going to cut these rectangly bits uh, into pieces. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp directly onto them. So I'm just making sure that no ink is going to rub off on my fingers. Now I do pull out some of the florals and I have the florals from both stamp sets that I showed you earlier in the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, another Misty. Uh, this is a smaller one. And I'm just going to figure out where I want the flowers to go uh, and how I'm going to get the most real estate. So I really didn't measure anything. It was literally, I'm going to throw some ink down on a page and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp on them. So I do stamp them multiple times. 
and some of my stamps don't have complete coverage where the color is. Some of it is a little bit on the edge of the white, uh, and I'm okay with that for two reasons. One, they don't have to be perfect, uh, and two, I am going to overlap and tuck in some of these florals, so I'm not truly tremendously worried about it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing that uh, until I have colors in all of the florals, and then I go ahead and uh, fussy cut them out. Now my fussy cutting is not perfect and I did that on purpose. Um, I could have spent hours fussy cutting these florals out and so that they would be absolutely perfect and all the lines would be exactly even. But honestly, flowers aren't perfect, you guys, and neither am I, so neither are my layouts. I'm going to go ahead and tuck flowers in. So some of them are going to go on top of the paper, some of them are going to be tucked underneath. Uh, and then I'm also going to overlap and pop uh, some of them up on some foam squares. So I just want a good mixture of colors all around where I'm placing the florals. Uh, now, I did not take every single color uh, that was in the striped paper and make flowers out of it, but I feel like I pulled enough of the color from the, fl the, from the striped paper that the florals don't feel weird. Like, they feel like they match up. And that is one thing that I do appreciate about the two stamp sets that I'm using, that even though they are from different companies, they do coordinate together. So I think sometimes we have to remember that, that we can uh, go into our stashes and see that we have different companies' products and mix them up. Um, because when companies collaborate, beautiful things happen. And you guys, if you haven't uh, checked it out, please make sure that you head over to Instagram because there is going to be an Instagram hop and a giveaway. So that's gonna be super exciting. Now make sure that you uh, head over to my Instagram. I am not the first the first hop in the Instagram, but you can start at my Instagram and move along and do all the things you need to do to be entered into the giveaway. So I am tucking in the flowers and kind of popping them up and just trying to figure out where I want these things to go. Now I am going to have some that overlap over the outside edge of the page, and I'm just going to flip my layout over and trim those florals off. Um, so that way everything doesn't seem like it's contained within that black square. Um, it feels like it kind of goes off all over the place. And I am going to use some of the cutoffs to create more. Because, you know, you guys, sometimes more is more. And when you're scrapbooking Disney trash cans, more is definitely more. I'm going to pull a couple of the phrases from the stamp sets off. And I'm just going to figure out which ones I want to use and go ahead and place them down here. So now that I've figured out what stamp sentiments I want to use, I am... Do I grab my Misty again? I don't remember if I grab a block or if I grab my stamp positioner again. But we will... We will see soon enough, won't we? So while I am, um, oh, I guess I just left that there while I went to my stash to grab some letter stickers. So I just went to my stash and I found these gold glitter letter stickers. And I chose those because I'm going to be using my absolute favorite sequence in the world. These are Bruce Monroe decorative details sequins. They are a gold uh, sparkly sequin, my f guys, seriously, my favorite thing in the world. Um, so I pulled out some gold letter stickers to match, and then I pulled out these pink uh, tile letter stickers because they coordinated with the pinks that were already in the layout. I am going to title this Just Say Wow because Disney trash cans, they are a thing for me. Um, and I am not the only maniac that is a fan of Disney trash cans, you guys. There is like a whole following of it. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I did not realize when I started um, being interested in Disney trash cans way back in 2008, uh, the first time we went to Disney, that um, I didn't realize that other people like Disney trash cans as much as I did. And that's fantastic. So I am going to sprinkle these gold glitter sequins around the page. I'm just going to make sure that the most sparkly bit is face up. 
um, because these sequins are pretty awesome in the fact that there is a little bit of a matter finish, matter. Is that, is matter a word? More mat, a more mat finish. I think that that's, that's better English, right? Um, so uh, there is a more matte finish. I'm making sure that the most sparkly bit is up. And then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Please make sure that you head over to Instagram so that you can join in on the Instagram hop and giveaway. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again real soon for another video.